Hi everyone. In this section, we will learn about RGB and CMYK color modes. It's not like we use Photoshop only for editing photos, but Photoshop is a very versatile tool for multiple uses. Different color modes are available to work specifically as per your requirement. Depending upon your need, you can select the color mode of your image, but only two color modes are widely used. RGB and CMYK. We will discuss these two modes here. If you are creating a graphic for a digital platform, for example, a website layout, social media post, image for a TV, computer, or mobile screen, you should work with RGB color mode. If you are creating a graphic for printing purpose, for example, a book cover page, a product leaflet, brochure for marketing, or anything that is going to be printed you should work with CMYK color mode. There is no restriction to use any color mode, but the purpose of using specific color mode is to get the optimum result to serve the purpose of creating any graphic. First, we discuss RGB color mode. All screens of monitors, TVs, tablets or mobiles use RGB colors to produce images on screen. In older times, when we were using CRT television monitors, there were RGB light guns to produce images on the screen. In recent times, all the screens are made up of LEDs and each LED has red, green and blue light. Depending on the color to display, it produces the mixture of red, green and blue color to show the image on screen. So working with RGB color mode, for the images going to be used on digital platform as a direct connection of calculating red, green and blue colors for each and every pixel to display on the screen. On the other hand, when we are working on graphics for printing purposes, we should use CMYK color mode. Printer produces colors by using cyan, magenta, yellow and black colors. Black color is known as key color here. So creating a graphic for printing purpose in CMYK color mode has the direct connection of calculating cyan, magenta, yellow and black color percentages the printer has to use to print. Human eye understands the colors produced by natural lights in a better way. Separating the light via prism produces different colored lights and adding all color lights again merged into white light. We all know this. The RGB color mode is based on natural lights. Let's see this image here. Considering red, green and blue as primary colors, they produce three secondary colors, cyan, magenta and yellow. But adding all colors produce white color. This is the reason the RGB color model is also known as the additive color model. We have very important panel named channels. It stores the information of particular color for the image. RGB color mode file has three channels named as red, green and blue. Each of these channels store information of single color. We can see this by clicking on a single channel to check. Here you can see the image turns into black and white color. Let's understand this. As RGB color mode is based on light, the more light you see in the channel represents the more color presence on the channel. It means the white color indicates the presence of the particular color and black color indicates the absence of a particular color. In this image, if you compare the individual channel with the actual image, you can easily understand the color values in the channel. Consider the red color in the actual image. Now select the red color channel. You can easily make out that the area with white color in the red color channel indicates the presence of red color in the actual image, whereas the area with gray color or black color indicates the limited presence or absence of 
red color in the actual image. Similarly, this rule applies on green and blue color channels too. In the green color channel, white color indicates the presence of green color and black color indicates the absence of green color in the image. In the blue color channel also, white color indicates the presence of blue color and black color indicates the absence of blue color in the image. Now when you merge these three channels, you get the colorful image. Let's now understand the CMYK channels. Converting the image to CMYK color mode will show the channels as cyan, magenta, yellow and black color. CMYK color mode is based on pigment color as it is basically used for printing purposes. When we mix the colors actually on paper, it becomes darker and at last becomes black. So logically, the colors are being added gradually, but as we are working on computer screens that understand the rules of light, it actually removes the light from the image and becomes black. The RGB color mode is known as an additive color model because when we add all colors, it means that all color light is added and that produces white color. But here in the CMYK color model, as we add colors, the light on the screen is being subtracted and that is why it is called a subtractive color model. So here in CMYK channels, when you see the black color, it indicates the presence of the color and white color indicates the absence of color. Consider the cyan color in the actual image. Now select the cyan color channel. You can easily make out that the area with the black color in the cyan color channel indicates the presence of cyan color in the actual image, whereas the area with gray color or white color indicates the limited presence or absence of cyan color in the actual image. Similarly, this rule applies to magenta, yellow and black color channels too. In magenta color channel, black color indicates the presence of magenta color and white color indicates the absence of magenta color in the image. In the yellow color channel, black color indicates the presence of yellow color and white color indicates the absence of yellow color in the image. And in black color channel, black color indicates the presence of black color and white color indicates the absence of black color in the image. Now when you merge these four channels, you get the colorful image. These gray channels are a bit interesting to know about image depth. Let's talk about few relative questions. The first question is when should we use RGB or CMYK color modes? So if we are working with images that are going to be used for digital screens, we should always use RGB color mode and when we are working with images that are going to be used for printing purposes, we should use the CMYK color mode. Why is RGB color model called an additive color model? RGB color is based on light. Adding all light colors in real life produces white color. In the RGB color model also, when we add all the three colors, it will produce white color. That is why RGB color model called an additive color model. And the last question is, why is CMYK color model called a subtractive color model? So CMYK color is based on pigment colors. Adding all the pigment colors in real life produces black color. In the CMYK color model also, when we add all the colors, it will produce the black color. But as we work on digital screen, which understands the concept of light, it actually subtracts the light. So we call the CMYK color model as a subtractive color model.